Here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The sisters were enraged when the corporate lackey revealed his secret, but there was no backing up now. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale lady, rocket you ship. Have a rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally aboard the space station, the salaryman found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. Choosing his words carefully, he managed to maintain his disguise. Working together, the gun artist and the salaryman managed one last miracle and acquired the final gorgeous component. But just then, Handsome Jack offered the salaryman everything he had ever wanted. How could he possibly refuse? Put them in one of the cells for questioning. me at one of the security checkpoints. We're here to see shot Pony! Uh, what? We all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it! Where's Reese? A lot of strange things have been happening today. He's your president now, didn't you hear? Why don't you tell us? We're not leaving here until I start getting some answers. What the hell is that? Get them into the cell. President asshole, what's taking so long? Reese! What is going on up there? Let's get dirty! I can't believe it. What, that you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. I mean, not to sound like a frickin' shampoo commercial here, but you deserve it because you killed a lot of people to get here. But listen, I know where you're coming from. A little imposter syndrome's normal when you basically just become a god. Okay, I don't get it. Why me? Well, partly because you slammed me into your left temple a while ago, but mainly because you're kind of a badass kid. You survived Pandora, you survived Helios, and you never let anything get in the way of what you wanted. Kind of reminded me of myself, actually, at your age. This is a perfect partnership, Reese. You trusted me, I trusted you, and now we're here. And never really had a partner I could count on before. Feels kind of dope. But enough talking, am I right? It's time for you to make your first command as president, Reese. And you gotta project power. You gotta project vision. But you also want to convince the toadies that you care about them. It's important. Yeah, uh, how exactly do I do that? Oh, that's such a good question. You are on the ball today, Reese. Here, 
Given the current corporate landscape, there's three big changes you could make right here, right now. Which one's it gonna be? Um, kinda hungry. Could go for a pepperoni pizza? You got it! Wow, that was fast. That's good, right? No, oh, 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 that just smells like happiness and garlic. Oh, I need this inside me right now. I know, right? Totally worth all the people you killed to get here, huh? <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. Now chew slowly, because this next project might make you choke to death, and we don't want that. Oh, so that prototype I was talking about? Yeah, Nakiyama actually built it. Uh, you said he never finished it. Yeah, I know I lied, but that was before we were partners. Anyway, we're gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it so I'd be wearing my old body, like a skin suit. It's great, right? I mean, okay, but what's this got to do with me? Hang on. I'm getting to that. All right, now the one problem was how to get the endoskeleton into my body without killing me first. But since I'm dead anyway, I had a way cooler idea. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. We make a shitload of these endoskeletons, we put them into the corpses of the bandits we killed, and then we upload my AI into all of them. You want to make an army of jacks? Freaking awesome, right? I mean, Hyperion troops die in battle, grab the corpse, shove an endoskeleton into it, boom, another jack. Some asshole gives you lip, boom, jackpot. Successfully wiped out a bandit camp, you turn the corpses into more jacks. Within a few months, Hyperion would have the smartest, best looking fighting force in the universe. And the best part is, Reese, baby, you're gonna be the first recipient. Huh? And now I, I know metal skeleton forcing its way into your body. Uh, scary idea. But like I said, we work so well together, your body, my brain, will change the freaking universe, baby! You can't do this! Why would you say that? I clearly can and I clearly will. Don't worry though, sweetheart. The process will kill the shit out of you. So you won't have to suffer as a mind-controlled zombie slave or whatever. So you got that going for you. What the hell is wrong with you? Uh... Detecting a little ingratitude here, Reese. I did make you present. Come on. Remember how good that pizza was? No? Well, right? If I'm being honest, backing out after you got to have your fun? Huh? Kind of a kind of a dick move. I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time, but you know what? Knowing how you feel now. This makes it that much easier to kill you. I am taking the beacon and getting out of here. This was your chance to make history, you moron. To be part of a legacy. Just for the record, I am way more handsome than you are. Oh, hell no! <laughs> Well, shit. We need to go. Yeah, not an option. We still don't have the beacon. Well, that's convenient. <sighs> Reese! He's not coming. You heard the announcement. Reese made his choice. Still, a promise is a promise. No, it's... You don't know what's going on. We said we'd meet him here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, sometimes things are complicated. Once Hyperion, always Hyperion. Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Whoa! Okay, now we really have to go. Come on, hang our base this way. 
Do you know what you'll be right now without me? You're nothing! Nobody turns their back on me unless they want me to sink an axe into it, you ungrateful shit! Oh, I am not gonna forget this. Fiona, Sasha, Vaughn, they're all dead. Anyone you've ever cared about is gonna meet their pathetic end with my hands around their throats, squeezing the life out of them. And once they're dead, I'm going to make them my flesh bot. And you're gonna watch as your best friends tear you limb from freaking limb. Oh, my body. It hurts inside my body. Okay, so I'm guessing the president thing didn't go over so well. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. Well, Reese, we got a problem. Oh, cool, dude. Add it to the list. The hangar bay doors just lock tighter than a bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I'll override it at the power core. Just give me a minute to get my ribs. Okay. <sighs> okay. I can do this. Reese. I'm so sorry. Vet? Oh, hello, Yvette. Listen, Reese, I gave Hyperion your coordinates because they gave me a guarantee. Guarantee? Oh, that we would have a painful death? Was that the guarantee? That you'd be safe. They wanted to kill you and rip some top-secret file out of your head. I made sure they spared you. Please, Reese. I'm as good as dead if you leave me. Fine. But only if you help me get to the core. Are you serious? Yes! Awesome! You won't regret this. Well, I wasn't thinking I would until you said that. Come on. It's this way. Come on! This way! Hey, kiddos! Daddy's home! What's going on? Yes, dare to dream. It's me, Handsome Jack, your favorite. I'm back in the digital flesh, baby, and I need you to help me find my very good friend. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hey, everybody. You remember that guy, Reese, the new president, the less handsome guy? Well, he's just done so freaking well in his new job that I'm just gonna... Hey, you idiot. You look like the kind of moron that hangs out with middle management. Do you know where Reese is? I, uh... Is he the one with the glasses? Oh, or... Guess what? <laughs> Time to go. Yeah, you know, even though it's full of flesh-eating monsters, Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Someday, I want to live on a nice planet. Good luck with that. Hello, ladies. Great. So, how are things? Still alive, I see. Well done. Uh, just a quick quest for you both. Where the hell is Reese? I got every single Helios employee looking for that ass clown. So save him some major calf strain and turn him in already. Last I heard, he was in your old office. Uh, trust me, Cupcake, he ain't in there. Otherwise, I'd be inside him. Let's go, Fiona. He can't touch us. Well, you are just 100% right about that, Pumpkin. I can, but my guards and their bullets sure can, and a shit ton of them are heading to you right now. Could get messy. So in the essence of saving on cleanup costs, why don't we just figure this out together, huh? I mean, I'll be straight with you. Reese is definitely gonna die. But you don't have to. I mean, I don't care enough about you to kill you. No way in hell I'm trusting the douchebag who tried to destroy my planet. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Douchebag? <laughs> Such a hateful word. That's why I used it. Douchebag. Oh, here are my guards. Now remember, you had a chance to avoid this next part. You think on that while you're headbutting bullets.
have a lot of monitors in this place. So you uploaded him into Helio? Okay, okay, technically, yes, that happened. But we can fix it! Let's go! Doors open. Damn it! I can't hack in. Come on! This isn't working! Alright, still got Jack's icebreaker installed, so getting past the firewall should be a snap. Shut me out of the computer systems, fine. Then I'll go right to the source. Let's see how long you survive without a power core. No, 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 no. There's gotta be another way out. There has to. Back off, Reese. Don't you even try to shut me down. Uh, you know what? Your puny little body isn't worth all this trouble. Seriously. Core venting process initiated. It's gonna be way more fun watching you get vented into space. Oh shit, that's bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Warning, airlocks in the core engineering level. Failing. 400 engineers vented into space. Oh, you're gonna kill me with that lightning rod? I'm made of electricity, you idiot. Hurry! It won't be long. <laughs> you didn't actually think it would be that easy, did you, idiot? Power core damage reaching critical. Enjoy your last few seconds of not being dead. Stand by for core ventilation in three, Reese. two, one. No, 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 no! Grab onto something! yet. Without me, you're nothing. Just a sad, silent vacuum of space waiting to be filled with a handsome endoskeleton. Warning. Ventilation aborted. Room repressurizing. Eat it, Jack! Eat Warning. it all! Retro rockets activated. Come? Helios thrusters offline. No, 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 no. Where offline. are you going? Where are you going? You can't leave me here! Impact with Pandora imminent. Please begin evacuation procedures. Oh, you little asshole! Look what you have done! 